Of course to my amazing people my name is Edgar Yambo and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi Kenya kama unapata kutini hii ni siku yako ya kwanza kufika hapa hakikisha tu kama unapata ku subscribe bonyeza alama ya subscribe at the comment section pia uh, tuambie maoni yako so far at the comment section unatupea maoni I always reply to exactly zile comments zote and also make sure guys unapata kunipea that is liking the video yeah? give us a thumbs up by liking the video now Ona today ni kwamba the reason as why tumepata kufika hapa ni kwa minaji letu ya kujaribu kuzungumzia haya ambayo so far nimepata kuona yamepata kutendeka there is this lady ambayo kwa kweli hajapata uh, hajapata ku, kuvumilia depression inasemekana kwamba is real watu na wazi sana mawazo ni mengi sana and you can see ni kwamba kuna yeye huyu mwandada ambaye amepata kujinyonga na ni uchungu sana tumepata kutazama video hiyo ni uchungu sana kwa sababu it is so painful guys eh? mtu amepata kujinyonga imagine umepata kuacha familia nyumbani umepata kuacha mtoto wako nyumbani hakuna wale watu ambao pia wanakutegemea na unapata kujinyonga. Na the reason as to why uh, nimepata kuzungumzia hii ni kwa sababu I just want to talk to uh, our sisters ambao so far wanapata kupitia changamoto. Najua kila mtu anapata kupitia changamoto but ikifika to this extent ni kitu ya uzuri sana. Ah uh, huyu mwanadada kwanza first of all inasemekana kwamba si Kenya, ni Uganda and I've, I've tried my level best kuhakikisha kwamba anapata kujua details kum concerning yeye na uh, nimepata kufahamishwa kwamba anatoka maeneo ya Jerusalem district hiyo ni maeneo za Uganda na alipata kujinyonga kwa njia ya hili depression tu eh unakuwa unapata kuteswa pale unapitia changamoto unapojaribu kupigia uh, simu uh, awapate kushika now this lady uh, inasemekana kama anatoka maeneo za Jerusalem uh, that is Jerusalem district maeneo za uh, Uganda na alikuwa ni kadama ambaye kwa kweli alikuwa anapata kufanya kazi ah uh, uh, tumeona wasichana ambao pia kwa kweli tuna zile ripoti ambazo so far tunapata kupewa kwamba wasichana wanapata kujinyonga zingine tunasema kwa kweli zingine si yao kujinyonga hii inapata inaweza kuwa kama ilipata kunyongwa na tumeona hizo pia zikifanyika hapa Kenya wakati ambapo pia tunapota kupoteza wasichana lakini baadaye unasikia kwamba oh uh, huyu alijinyonga huyu alijinyonga wengine wanasema pana huyu alinyongwa but now hii imepata kuwa captured by the CCTV tunaona kwamba msichana kwa kweli baada tu ya kuchoka sometimes alipata kuvumilia Uh, zile changamoto lakini zikapata zikawa ni kama ziko mingi sana kaamua yeye yeah, apate kujinyonga. Karen ni kwamba everything is underway na uh, kitu kama hiki kifanyike imagine kitu kama hiki kifanyika the boss hata simamia ile mambo na repatriation yako mwili. Hii tabii ni watu wakwenu ndio watapata kuchanga pesa kwa sababu wewe umejitoa uhai si yeye tienda amepata kujihusisha. So kitu kama hiki pata kutendeka it will be upon now you wewe binafsi upate kujitafutia pesa na kama yule boss wako ni mtu mzuri atakuwa anasaidia tu atasaidia tu imagine the kind of burden sometimes you're going to keep uh, wale watu ambao so ni watu wa familia nikizungumza leo hii nataka tu nimzungumze na wale wasichana so far najua kwamba kuna wakati ambao unaishi kwamba umefika mwisho na and unaishi kwamba kuna chochote ambacho unaweza kupata kufanya and uh, vitu ambazo zinaleta vitu kama hizi ni kwamba sometimes Unapata kulazimishwa lale naye ambaye unafanya naye kazi pale unaishi kwamba si poa unajaribu ku, kuomba usaidizi ya upati sometimes uko pale unapigwa unapigwa unautusiwa na kuna watu ambao so far ni watu ambao kwa kweli roho yao ni roho ndogo hawajui kuvumilia roho yao ni roho ndogo kwanza wale watu ambao umepata kufika tu for the first time pale umepata kufanya one week tu na upata kwamba pale ulienda umepata vitu ni zile mzito mzito si kama vile ulikuwa umezoea umepata maisha imekuwa ngumu sana kazi ndio hiyo unapata kufanyishwa sana. You know for the first time nakoga most of au wale watu wanapata kukujaribu, wanataka kujua kwamba uwezo wako uko waje sofa. But wewe ukifika pale unahisi kwamba umechoka, umechoka, umechoka hao umeshakasirika. Nini nini unahisi kwamba ukifika mwisho sometimes kidogo kidogo yesu ya kwanza ushachapo kofi unadhani kwamba kofi itazidi kuendelea. So unapata kwamba unakata tamaa haraka zaidi. Unakata tamaa you are you are you are you are lowering your self esteem. Unahisi kwamba wewe umewe ni mnyonge sana. Hapana nataka watu wa kwetu na watu ambao uko kweli unaweza like unajiamini una you believe in yourself ha? wale wasichana wa kwanza imagine ukipigwa huyu anataka kulala na wewe unapigwa uh, sometimes ame manager ame, ame kusukuma ame kufanyia hiyo maneno unaishi kwamba umechoka sana sasa this is what leads to this eh? na pia kuna wale wazazi ambao sofa unapata kuchangia sana watoto wao pia kujitoa uh, kitanzi ama kujitia kitanzi imagine umefanya kazi unakuwa ukitoa pesa nyumbani ndoko kituma pesa nyumbani and then the, uh, the end of it kabla ukua karibu kurudi nyumbani no, unauliza pesa unakwambia ah kuna pesa we endelea kufanya kazi hakuna pesa pesa zote tulifanya nayo kitu fulani na wako haikuambia wakati wako nafanya ile kitu au wako consult imagine mtu anaingia kwa pesa zako ambazo umekuwa ukifanya nayo kazi umekuwa ukifanyia kazi na unafanya kitu ambacho sofa wewe au kuwa umepangia ama ukuwa 
unatarajia yafanywe nayo and that is it mtu ata lose self esteem you have you worked for that is two years imeisha so karibu kurudi nyumbani ukiuliza mzazi unakwambia kuna pesa wewe endelea kufanya kazi eti pesa tulinunua nayo shamba na that hiyo shamba kwanza hawaja kunulia mara kidogo kidogo pesa tuli pesa pesa sijui nini pesa sijui tulibai nayo kuna sijui ndugu yako alishikwa tukatoa pesa na wakati ndugu yako alishikwa hapo haikuambia kwamba ndugu yako ameshikwa so they are trying to create stories imagine kama ni mtu ambaye anafanya kazi ya Saudi na zile changamoto ambazo sofa anapata kupitia atapata kujinyonga wa hizi ndio vitu ambazo nalili vitu kama hizi atapata kunywa sumu au atapata kujinyonga kwa sababu kuna watu ambao huwa wanachoka kwa haraka sana I've listened to so many ladies complaining kuhusu wao mamangu alibaya shamba hiyo shamba kwanza hata waikuweka jina yangu wananiambia tu atanibaiya shamba na siku aiwaambia nataka shamba sasa hizo wananiambia wewe ukirudi usitapata shamba kuna shamba hapa mara mamako amenunua shamba hapo aikwambia hiyo shamba ni ya nani anakwambia wewe oh, sasa wewe ulikuwa unafanya kazi unataka mimi nikae wapi nataka niwalee hapa na sina shamba hiyo hey, pesa nilitumia kujenga na wakati walikuwa wanaanza kufanya hiyo mama na ujenzi hawai kwa kuambia hao wanatumia pesa yako like they are budgeting kwa pesa yako na wao kuambi because the, the reason is ni kwamba ulifungua account na wao hizo ndio vitu ambazo zinalidi wasitana kupata kufanya kitendo kama hii like the lady from Uganda ambaye amepata kujiua it is so painful it is so painful ni mchungu sana imagine how the bad in pale nyumbani ameacha watoto and to our ladies wakati ambao unahisi kwamba like umefika to this kind of point tafadhali tafuta solution tafuta watu wa kuzungumza nao nitafute mimi tupate kupiga story tafuta mtu yote ambao usipo unahisi kwamba ukiongea na yeye atapata kukujaribu kukupea motisha kukupea motivation ajaribu kuongelesha upate kuende anjia mwafaka Usi usikufe moyo useme kwamba ah mimi nitajiua sasa. Baka kuna watu ambao wamembea mmao mimi nikikutana na wewe ile siku ambayo nitapata kufika Kenya kwa zile vitendo ambazo sasa umepata kunifanyia kwa kutumia pesa zangu nikiwa naangaika hivi. Mimi nikikutana na wewe mahali isaidia mtu aende mochari na mwingine aende aende gerezani kamiti. No, it is not haifai kufika hiyo point. Jaribu tujaribu kutafuta mtu ambaye sofa anaweza kuongelesha, mpate kupiga story, upate kujua kwamba njia mwafaka ya kufanya vitu sasa ni hivi usikuwe na kwamba kwamba najua kwamba at that time una feeling kwamba hata utaki kuongelesha mtu yote but it is good it is good tafuta mtu mpate kuzungumza naye ukae chini mzungumuze isikuwe ni kwamba the last point ni kwamba unapata kufanya kitendo kama hii ambayo dada yetu hapa amepata kufanya imagine halisi kwamba amechoka tu kabisa halisi kwamba amechoka ndio huyu amefanya kitendo ambacho sofa mnapata kuiona hapo aka panda na, na kujinyonga I really say my anything concerning this but we are really praying ni kwamba Mungu azidi kuwalinda alinde alinde watu ajaribu kuwapambania because it is, it is not easy we need like unafaa kwenda and then kama upende up, kuomba tafadhali jaribu kuomba jaribu kuwa unatafuta watu ambao kwa kweli ni watu wa karibu sana ni watu wa usaidizi usikuwa tuna watu ambao sofa ukiwa kwenye shida hawawezi kukusaidia advice never kwao kwa akili yao wanaongea kuhusu wanaume sherehe ama kama ni mwanaume anaongelea kuhusu sherehe na wanawake au ni watu ambao sofa hawezi kusaidia isifike in the point in time ni kwamba unahisi kuchuku unahisi kwamba it is the last thing ambayo unaweza fanya ni kwamba ni kuchukua maisha yako hapana it is never solution the moment tunafikiria hivyo kumbuka wale watu ambao sofa wanakuhitaji it's not only about kuhusu mtoto wako na mama yako ni watu wa nyumbani hapana kuna watu wengine pia sofa wanakuhitaji apart from those people so it's the only thing ambayo unaweza fanya ni kwamba jitie nguvu omba omba tafuta mtu wa karibu sana aongee na wewe. Kuna wasichana mbaje pia ametoka Saudi anajua kwamba kila kitu kwa sawa. Na unaporudi nyumbani napata kwamba pesa yake hakuna pesa. Pesa kwa account after working for two years na kujinyima. Pesa ambayo kwa account ni 20,000. A lady from Kisi. The only resort ambayo aliona ni kwamba ajitie kitanzi. It will never be a solution. I'm talking to our sisters. Ngoja na hisi kwamba nyinyi mnakunga mna mnachoka haraka. Mnachoka haraka na mnafanya kitu chochote ambacho sofa unahisi unaweza fanya. Hapana. It will never be a solution ka chini ji reconcile tafuta mtu wa karibu ama mtu wa kanisa kanisa ambayo unamkoa kienda jaribu hata kupigia pasta wenyu you know nowadays pastors wako online na namba jaribu kumpigia mueleze hata kuongelesha hata kuombea but si wale mapasta waongo wa online waongo hapana tafuta mtu mwenye atakusaidia most of the people will take advantage of that situation kwanza hao mapasta some of these wa ubiri si watu wa kuaminika the moment anaishi kama mtu wako so desperate anaishi kwamba amefika mwisho atateka advantage i'm calling upon wanadada ni kwamba try your level best kutafuta mtu ambaye kwa kweli anaweza kuwa mtu wa karibu sana ajaribu kuongea na wewe usikate tamaa maishani i goes by the name Edgar Yambo and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi Kenya i'm just doing this kuhakikisha kwamba 
we don't have this kind of situation zikifanyikia wanabila wetu ambao kwa kweli tunawapenda sana hapa maeneo za Kenya So guys eh hakikisha kama unapata ku subscribe to that is my channel that is Durgas TV ambia kwenye comment section sana unafikiria nini so far kuhusiana haya mambo what do you feel like should be done kuhakikisha kwamba wasichana wapate kujinyonga niambie tu pale kwenye comment section and what always nini ambayo inafanya wasichana kupata kujinyonga pale Saudi wanapofanya kazi tell me in the comment section i goes by the name of the amber freelance journalist from Nairobi Kenya don't forget to subscribe to this amazing youtube channel bye bye and let's meet on our next video